guys! Today I wanted to talk to you about my new series and the amazing, amazing, amazing product called Resin. I first tried it about a year ago maybe, maybe a little bit more, and I really liked it. So I started experimenting and trying how different kind of paint look with it and I came across glitter. And this blew my mind. Because glitter under resin becomes magical. I'm going to show you. I started with this little butterflies because I wanted to see how it goes and I wanted to see if I like it or not and if I want to turn into series or I don't. But, like, it's so good. So good. Okay, I'm going to show you. So this is one of three that I made. First three paintings that I made. Well, actually, before that I made a few paintings with resin and glitter too. They are birds on a branch and... I called it Magical Forest, I think. No, magic... Anyway. I don't remember. Something magical. It's beautiful too. They're in a gallery. That's why I can't show you guys them, but I can show you this. Because this was my second development with resin and glitter. So as you guys can see, it's super, super sparkly. Super, super sparkly. The only thing, well, I'm gonna get there actually. What works and what doesn't with resin and glitter, I'm gonna get there in a second. So, yeah, as you can see, it's like, I love it. Honestly, I love it so, so much. I think it's amazing. It gives me this super magical feel to it because it, it just it seems like it's out of some kind of fairy tale. And I have two two more of the tiny ones from the small ones here is one more small one and maybe you guys can see this is metallic paint as well as metallic fluid paint and where's my last one from the tiny ones here we go this is the last one from this tiny tiny ones so in this video actually guys I want to not really talk about anything specific well about resin and glitter and few things that I discovered along the way of how to work with resin and what kind of glitter and what kind of things work and don't work. But really, I wanted to show off my art. Really. It's, it's, just, it's just really cool. So I want you guys to see it. Because, like, look at this part. Isn't this amazing? Like, amazing. I'm going to bring it really close. Really, really, really close. Okay, I have some bigger ones that I'm going to show you as well. But, first things first. So I tried resin first time and... Um, you know, people warn... When people talk about resin, they warn that you have to be very careful with it because... Uh, first, A, it's toxic. And B, if you mix it improperly, it doesn't dry. Both of things are true. Because... <laughs> Yes, I got really bad experience with poisoning myself with resin. Well, I wouldn't say poisoning. I don't even know what the right term for it is. But um, the first time I tried it, I was like, whatever. I don't care. I think it's going to be fine. So I didn't wear gloves. And I had a terrible rush on my fingers after using resin. Because, of course, my hands were covered with it. And it wasn't pretty. It was actually quite painful. So guys, use gloves when you work with resin every single time. It's important. And second thing, yes, if you mix resin properly, it doesn't dry. I thought I mixed it properly for one of the budgets I did. Um, but maybe I didn't mix it properly or maybe it was just a really old product and it was expired. I'm not quite sure. Um... But yeah, I had experience where resin just didn't dry. It dried to the degree that it stays, like it doesn't drip when you move the painting around, but uh, it's not safe to touch, so your finger gets stuck, like it sticks to it and it leaves fingerprints and it's really, it's not dry. So what I did actually to solve this problem, I made another batch of resin and I poured it on top and that one mixed properly and that one dried. I don't know um if on a long term in a few years maybe like five six ten years it will ruin the painting or not it happened to me only once with one painting i just wanted to know if there's any solution to fix that and this solution worked for me short term it worked great 
it works really really well because the resin the top layer dried completely and it was fine so yeah this is two things that I learned right away probably uh, from my first few time trying resin is a always wear gloves and B give yourself extra time to mix it and mix it really well and if it says on a package to mix it three minutes mix it ten if it says on a package to mix it ten minutes mix it fifteen this is better safe than sorry with resin because if it doesn't dry you're screwed I don't know if you guys worked with resin ever or not but if you have never worked with resin um, it's very important to level the table that you're putting paintings on or whatever you're putting them on it's very very important to level it because otherwise resin is so liquid and self-leveling it will it will level itself and if your table is not leveled it will drip from one corner and you will end up with painting that has this much resin on one side and this much or next to nothing on the other side just because your table was wasn't leveled so yes, it's very important to level your table. I don't always do it and when I don't do it, I regret it. Guys, learn on my mistakes. As I said, I tried different things and I really like this look of a glitter. Like when I'm looking there, I'm looking at the paintings because they're right here. So yeah, I really like this look of resin and glitter and I tried quite a few kinds of glitter. I had few glitters that I tried from like dollar store or I don't remember where they're from but they were cheap and it looked like crap because they lost their ability to shine under resin however I had some other glitter from Michaels and I loved it I had quite a few kinds of glitter from Michaels and some of them I liked and some of them I didn't and what I noticed with what kind of glitter to buy and what kind of glitter to use with the resin is that the best glitter that works for me was this really really fine glitter the one that is super super small large glitter works too but you have to do 50 50 you have to add some small glitter and some large glitter that way it looks great the other thing I bought uh, not circle shaped glitter but you know the glitter that is like randomly shaped it's triangle squares whatever it's like like rough pieces of metal that one worked really really well I will show you it's on one of the larger pieces this is the larger piece I have two of those right now can you guys see how this is reflecting light this pearl color yeah I love that I love the addition of metallic colors and this is the tiny glitter that I was talking about this really fine glitter makes this magical look now let me find yeah so this big glitter that I'm talking about that is not evenly shaped is right here you can see it it shines in a big chunks like this is it too do you see big chunks of it yeah so I really like that kind of glitter as well and Again, I feel like this looks really, really magical, and I just like it. I really do. And this one, this one has, I would say, this one has three different kinds of glitter. Yeah, it does have three different kinds of glitter. Love it. Here is another one from the big pieces. It's butterfly again because it's a little serious, right? So I wanted to make them. I wanted to make them similar to each other in a sense. I love how it shines here on a black. It's really, really cool. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys want to try it, if you guys want to try doing glitter resin paintings, again, those are actually acrylic. I started with acrylic, glitter was added on top of acrylic painting. It's not just glitter painting, it's acrylic painting with addition of glitter once it's finished. Or, like, I did it by layers, but again, acrylic always went first and then glitter. And then resin to top it up because 
it doesn't shine as well when it's not resin. But with resin, I think it's just amazing. I really, really love this look. And I talked to one of my friends and he was actually not a big fan. He didn't understand why I was doing it. He was like, you're such a good artist. Why are you doing this butterflies? Nobody's impressed by butterflies. Nobody likes butterflies. Again, he's a guy though. He's a guy. So we know that some of the guys are not really into butterflies. And that's true. Like people are not that impressed by something like this. Just a little butterfly. But I just really, really like the look of it and the feel of it. There's something mysterious. I just wanted to share with you guys um, some of my art and this technique of glitter and resin. Feel free to try it. Use gloves when you use resin. That's very important. Um, mix it properly. Give yourself a little bit of extra time to mix it. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you guys. Once you've finished putting glitter where you want it to be, secure it. So spray it with whatever finishing spray you have, any kind of varnish, whatever you have, like spray finish, spray just slightly a little bit so your glitter doesn't move. If your glitter is not secured, once you start pouring resin and spreading it, the glitter will move. So if you want it to stay in place where you want it, spray it lightly a little bit so it doesn't move so it's secured. Then pour the resin, oh, level your table, that's very important, level your table. Pour the resin and go with blowtorch, the flame thing, to get rid of all the bubbles. Because that will give you a really, really nice, smooth and just glass finish. And if you do it right, resin is going to be your new favorite thing. If you have any questions about this technique or any questions about art with glitter and resin, let me know. I would love to help you. Bye-bye.